Salt Lake County is now offering vaccines to all Utahns over the age of 12. Fox 13 Sydney Glenn is at a pop-up clinic in Rose Park for the first day of the Salt Lake City School District to offering the vaccine to that age group. Sydney. Bob and Kelly, this pop-up clinic opened about an hour ago, and since then it's just been a steady stream of people. This is the first time the district has been able to offer up this type of clinic where you don't need an appointment. Earlier today, we were able to talk to some of those younger aged kids as they got their vaccine over at Mountain America Expo Center in Sandy. Actually, I feel pretty good taking my first dose. With her eyes closed tight, 14 year old JD Snow gets her first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. Kind of feels good that I won't have to like really stress about getting COVID anymore. A wave of relief washes over JD's mom, Tina, who made sure her daughter was able to get the Pfizer vaccine the first day it became available. I was super excited. <laughs> I just wanted her to be able to get it so that we can be safe. Just a few seats away, 12 year old Azur Hancock bravely offers up his left arm with hopes of a maskless summer in mind. Then I can like, um, when I get my second one, I can play with my friends without masks. Well, this is the first day Salt Lake County Health is offering up the vaccine to this younger age group. Other places have already started. Most of my friends have actually gotten it before. In Rose Park, cars line up for a quick drive through shot. This time, the people getting the shot have to sit on the passenger side. Ever since the pandemic started, we were actually, the zip code here, 84116, was very highly impacted with COVID. And so we want to kind of bring out the resources out closer to, to the community so that they can access getting the vaccines. A spokesperson for the Salt Lake County Health Department says these type of pop up clinics and people being able to walk into the mass vaccination sites seems to be helping increase demand. It's been helping a lot in getting the vaccine to communities and populations that may not necessarily have access to public transportation or rights to come to one of the mass vaccination sites. Back in Sandy, JD is already feeling less anxious as she prepares for school days without masks and a trip to Mexico. I feel that having this, I wouldn't really feel like I'd get like anything from it. I wouldn't be worried about it at all anymore. People can come here and get their free COVID-19 vaccine until 7 o'clock tonight and then tomorrow same time, 4 to 7 again. Live in Rose Park, Sydney Glenn, Fox 13 News, Utah.